All right, today in math, we're going to do two worksheets. So you should have this one and this one. So page 203 and 205. Those are the two we're going to do. Before we start on our math worksheets, I want to review with you some money. We'll review our money. We'll take this time to review. Let me tilt this screen so you can see the um see if you can see this can you see it tilt it back a little more all right i think you can see all right let's talk about pennies remember when we count pennies we count by ones let me try to get some here we'll count count how you know what? i'm just gonna put like i'm gonna put a little pile of pennies here i put a little pile of nickels. This is how you can practice at home. Just, give, just pick some. So make yourself a little pile. And I'm going to put a little pile. Grab some of these dimes. All right. So let me straighten these up here so you can see them all. Okay. So I got a pile, a little pile of pennies. I have a pile of nickels. I have a pile of dimes. So we're just going to count how much money we have. Let's count how, how many pennies we have. Remember, when we count by pennies, we count by ones. I'll line them up in the row. Let me move this out of the way so you don't see the rest of the... All right, ready? Oops, wait, I want to make sure that you can see it. I'm not going up too far. All right, ready? So we have one, two, three, four, five. We'll start another row after five. Six. Seven, eight. So we have eight cents. Let me write that on my dry erase board here. So for over here, we have eight. I don't want to try to write cents. It'll be too much. So eight cents for our pennies. Okay, let's count how much we have here in our nickels. Now remember when you're counting, I'm gonna move this over so it's gonna away. When you're counting nickels, you're counting by fives. So when we say each one, we're counting by fives like we do on our chart, remember? So let's count five. You're starting with five because you're counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30. So how many cents do we have? 30. Let me write that on here for the nickels. 30 cents. You know what? I should write this smaller because there's not going to be enough room to write my dimes, huh? Let's try to put all three across here. Let me write it. Redo. Redo. 8 cents. 30 cents. Okay, so we have eight cents, 30 cents. Now we have our dimes over here, our dimes, and we're going to count them by tens. You can see them okay over here. So we're going to count them by tens. Let's line them all up here. Oops, I had one on top of the other. So let's line, line them up in a row and let's count them. Ready? We're counting by ten. So you're starting with ten. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 cents. 60 cents. So that's how much. So the one we have the most of, 60 is the highest number. So the most money we have is of is the dimes. Even though if you, you have eight pennies here and only one, two, three, four, five, six dimes, there's more money because it's worth more. It's worth 10. These are only worth one. So <clears throat> I want you to practice if you get a chance at home, little piles of money and counting them. Remember, you count your pennies by ones your nickels by fives, and your dimes by tens. So 
we're going to later on, you'll have tests where I'll just give you a little pile of money and, you know, coins. And um, you have to count those and write the answer. Okay. All right. Hopefully you're understanding that. If not, practice you. Some of you have your older siblings you could practice with. If you're having trouble understanding, they had to do all this stuff too, you know. Okay. And let's begin with our math worksheet today. Um, tomorrow too, I'll, well, we'll count on our number chart, but I'll review um, even and odd numbers tomorrow with you too. That's something important for you to know. All right, so get this worksheet out. We're talking about morning, afternoon, and evening. I decided to do two worksheets today because there's it's this is so easy, and um, I thought this is pretty easy, so we can we can handle two worksheets. So let's look at morning, afternoon, and evening. The directions here for blue whale and green turtle. They say for both of them. What times of the day do the pictures show? Circle the time of day that is missing. All right, so they show you we have morning, afternoon, evening, night. So we're going to look at here. What is missing? So it looks like, looks like they're on their way to, I'm sorry, this is morning. They try to trick you. If you look at this, like morning, like the sun is rising, they're at school. And, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. They are. This is morning in the sun. I was thinking they were eating dinner. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So they're together in the morning eating breakfast. That's breakfast. So that's your morning one because the sun rises in the morning. The sun sets in the evening, afternoon, you know. That's afternoon. They're at school. So what is missing? Night. So you're going to circle. Circle this one. Circle the moon. It's not nighttime. All right, now let's go down and look at this one. What's the little girl doing in the picture? She's forgetting her mommy's reading her story. It's bedtime. If you look out in the window, what time of the day is it? Night. So then you look here, the kids are playing. It's probably recess time. I'm thinking recess. It's afternoon. So which one is missing? Right, morning. So circle your morning. Okay, let's turn our page over. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I believe you do the same thing. What same thing? What time of the day do the picture show? Circle the time of the day that is missing. So let's look again. He is stretching and waking up and look at the sun. It's rising. So we have morning. And he's going to bed. So boy, as soon as he got up, he's back to sleep there. Night. So what time of the day is missing? Afternoon, so circle afternoon. All right, this little girl's playing outside. She's playing outside in the afternoon because see how the sun is up, it's not just rising. See how, like, I did that? So it's af the afternoon sun. She's playing in the afternoon. Well, it probably is a Saturday, looks like she's outside her house, and then nighttime. What is she? He, oh, her mom's getting her a drink. They're having dinner at night. It's dark out already. So which one is missing? Morning. So circle your morning. All right. That's it for that page. You get your next one out. This one has more, more to do. Um, you can write your name if you can fit your name on these papers. Because remember, some of them are a little... There's not much space up there because these papers were longer in the book than the pa co papers in the copier machine. So we're going to do a little bit of review for our calendars. Okay, we're going to review our calendars today. This is the month of, do you remember what month that is? March. So we're going to review our calendars. Let me tilt this a little bit so you can see a little better. All right, so they already did number one. The blue whale says count the Wednesdays, write how many? So you look. Wednesday, see the word Wednesday there? 
and you count how many down. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five Wednesdays in the month of March, and that's why they have the number five there, so go ahead and trace that. Now for the green turtle, the directions say, count the Fridays, right? How many? So let's find, remember, if you don't know what they are, you to always start over here, here with Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I would hope with all the flashcarding we're doing with opening, you should be able to just read Friday. You should be able to by now. So you want to know how many Fridays. So let's count how many, how many Fridays there are, the ones that have numbers in them. One, two, three three, four. You don't count this empty box down here because there's not a number in it. Okay. Only the ones with numbers. So you're going to write four here because there's one, two, three, four Fridays. Yeah. When there's an empty box, it does not get counted. Like if they asked you how many, how many Sundays, they don't. The next one's Saturday. But if you were counting how many Sundays, you would not count this empty box first. You count only the ones that have numbers in them. All right, let's look over here at the yellow star. Count the Saturdays, right? How many? You should know which word is Saturday. Saturday. Again, we're only counting the boxes that have numbers in them. So one, two, three, four. Four, again, you do not want to count the empty box. So four Saturdays. Now, this is one I've done with you before. How many days? You want to know for the red heart, right? How many days in March? That's easy. How many days are in March? What do I always tell you when I ask how many days are in a month? Which number do you look at? Remember which number I told you? Always look at the last number. So what's the last number on the calendar here? 31. So you're going to write 31. Always look at the last number. So this is just a little review page for you. Now this one, it's a little pack. This is, I thought this would be good for you to do because you get to trace your numbers. I'm going to trace your numbers. And then I'm going to read you some directions of things to do. So go ahead, trace them. And there's some that are missing. So I, I will do them myself. Start with... Number one there on Thursday, trace, and there are some that are missing. So when you get to number six, number six is missing. Can you get, let me show you here so that you don't get, so after five, after you trace five, there's an empty box here. You need to write number six and then continue tracing seven. There's some other ones that are met, missing. Go ahead and trace them. I'm going to trace them too. All the way to 10. When you get down here, what comes after 10? It's actually it's actually what today's date is. What's the day? What's today? 11. So you're going to write your own 11 in there. Trace 12, trace 12 13, 14, 15. When you get to 15, there's one missing here. What number is that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Write your own 16 in there. Trace 17. Trace 18. Trace 19. Trace 20. What comes after 20? So you should be over to this part already. Give you a minute to catch up. If you don't have, if you're not uh, caught up. So what comes after 20? What number is missing here? 21. 2, 1. Let me write it on here and then I'll show you. So you don't make a mistake. 21. You should have 21 written in the empty spot and continue tracing with 22. And 23. And 24. Then there's one missing down here. What comes after 24? 25. 
And there's a part on here they actually try to trick you. So don't jump ahead because you don't want to. So we're going to fill in this blank here, 25. Trace all the way to 30. Do not write in this last box. Okay. So we'll trace 26. Trace 27. Trace 28. Trace 29 and trace 30. All right, we are not writing, I know we just had, March had 31 days, but you are not writing 31 here. Every month, months have different amount of days. April, if you look up here, April, April only has 30 days, okay? There's only 30 days in April, so you are not writing a 31 here because April only has 30 days. All right, so do not write 31, but that's how yours should look. You should be able to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So hopefully you got that all correct on there. Now I'll read to you what the next directions say. So first thing said, trace the numbers and fill in the fill in the missing numbers. Next it says circle the name of the month. So this is our calendar. What month is this? Where does it tell us the name of the month? I'm looking at our calendar. What do you know? What month is it? April. So you're going to circle the word April. Circle the name of the month. The name of the month is April. And you should be able to read that too from us doing our flashcards. That's why I practice um, when we do our calendar stuff, when we practice our flashcards of our months of the year and our days of the week. That's why I practice that with you so that when you see a calendar, you're able to read those words. All right. So next it says color the first day of the month green. What is the first day of the month? I told you about the last one. You can get your green crayon too. Oops. First day of the month is, what's first? One. So you're going to color number one. That's your first day of the month is number one. So color that green. So if anybody asks you, First day of the month. And the first day of the month, what day of the week is it? It's a Thursday. Okay. Let's look down at the last set of directions here. It says color the last day of the month red. So get your red crayon out. You should know the answer to this one. You should know the answer to this one. I tell you about the last day of the month. And when they ask you how many days... You look at the last number. So the last day of the month is 30, the last number. That also tells you how many days are in the month of April? 30. So if I asked you what day of the week is the last day of the month, remember you just go straight up to here. And what day does this say? Friday. So the last day of the month is on a fr the Friday. So you figured those things out too. All right, and that is it for math today. Next we have Bible. We're going to learn a story about Paul and Silas, I believe. Yeah, we're going to learn about Paul and Silas. Looking at my chart over there. It's, you have to wait till you see a picture. They got a lot of boo-boos in that picture, so. And I'll read to you the whole story. So let's get ready for a Bible next uh, to finish our day. Alrighty.